My daughter's on an online school on the internet, and the reason she is this year is not due to COVID or anything like that. It's due to uh, being bilingual. So she's in a Spanish-English bilingual school <clears throat> online because it's online you know she can do school anywhere where anywhere she can plug in a computer and one thing i noticed uh, that similar to last year it seems like there's always one or two kids one or two students in the class who on the very first day of school when teacher hops on there you hear the student saying i love you teacher i love you so much Teacher, teacher, I love you. You know, they ain't known the teacher but for an hour. And this is the type of things they're expressing to a complete stranger, literally begging for the teacher to say it back to them. And that's why they're saying it. I love you, teacher. I love you so much. What they're really fishing for is for the teacher to say, oh, okay, I love you too. And like I said, this is something I observed not just this year, but last year. There's always that one student, maybe two students in the class that does this. And it breaks my heart, you know, because it's so out of place. And it's not a desperation reflected by most of the other children. On the surface, I think most people who are not as focused on these types of things as I am might look at that and see something normal and sweet. That's just uh, normal child behavior. But I don't think I don't see anything sweet about it. What I see instead is I see an insecure child who is starving for the security of being seen and of being seen as lovable. You know, they're begging for that sense of security and assurance that they are lovable. And you have to ask yourself, where this begging and insecurity and uncertainty about their lovableness is being born from in the first place. Clearly, they are not getting the sense of security and assurance from their parents at home. That's the sad thing about it. And most of you and I know what this means is uh, really waiting for them down the road, you know, as far as long term emotional issues go. And how this means that uh, their lives are likely to be for many decades into the future, probably all the way up into adulthood and beyond if they don't find the motivation to investigate that and change it. Kind of breaks my heart. Think about this. A child who is secure in the fact that they are lovable because their home life provides them with that assurance they don't go on to beg people to extend them some kind of assurance that they're lovable out you know in school and stuff like that i love you teacher i love you i love you so much just basically you know the message there is please teacher say that you love me too say that you love me please teacher say that you love me that's what that is. I appreciate you watching or listening to this Orange Slice, which are brief highlights taken from full episodes of The Last Symptom Podcast. You can subscribe to the full audio episodes on any major podcast platform of your preference, such as Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, Podbean, and more. Press the subscribe button and the notification bell right now before you forget, and be sure to forward this to anybody else you think could benefit from it.